good. I think it's afternoon. No, I think it's still morning here on the West Coast. Hello, I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tia. I told you I would come back in as I'm getting ready for our breakfast brunch here. Uh, earlier, if you didn't get a chance to catch our previous video, make sure you go back in and check it out. I was showing you how I took uh, chicken breasts. We bought four chicken breasts. I think it was four, four or five chicken breasts uh, from my local store and it was so large that I could take uh, the tops of the chicken breasts and make two meals and I was able to take those chicken breasts and split them uh, and have breast halves, boneless, whether I wanted a chicken sandwich, whether I wanted to do chicken nuggets, I was able to do that. And so I thought I had my do not disturb on, but I guess I didn't. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Miss Doris. Thank you for jumping in with me. So as I said earlier, I'm getting ready for our brunch. And so I wanted to come back in and do a quick pop in. So I have my rusted potato. I just washed it. Yes, it has some brown spots on it, but that's okay. So you may hear some noise in the background. Uh, but I'm getting ready to have brunch. So I'm going to make home fries and to make them healthy. Instead of me frying them, I'm going to put them in the oven. So I'm just, I love the skin. So I'm just going to take that first layer of skin off just like that. So that I can get the potatoes uh, started just like that. Thank you so much, Natasha, for joining me. That's okay. Uh, as I was talking, Natasha was calling in and I missed. I had to hit do not disturb. So what I'm going to do is I have a bowl here with some water. And like I said earlier in my earlier video, uh, I just learned to cut things in my hand. And so I'm just going to take this very thin. I'm, I'm able to control it, uh, how thin I want it, how thick I want my potatoes. My potato has a little spot on it, so let me just cut it off. And so I'm able, so I got a small paring knife, as my grandmother would say. I still have, I think, her knife. I think I may have put it up. Uh, because I wanted to keep it and so I have a very as you can see very thin knife She said was trying to let you see your baby outside. I built them a tra uh, a tarp Slip and slide. Okay, as soon as I get off. I can't wait to see she's talking about our baby Jordan We miss him. We love him. Uh, and so I have to make sure I uh, Call you as soon as I get off this live. So thanks for letting me know and so, like I said, my grandmother always had a, just a small knife that she could hold in her hand, like when she was doing potatoes. I remember when she would be making potato salad. Uh, she wouldn't have a large knife uh, when she would be cutting her potatoes. She had a knife that she could control. And so, as you can see, I'm able to control the slices of my home fries. And so, this is what we're going to have. I'm going to put them in the oven. So, right now, I'm just, you know, slicing it up. Getting everything, you know, done little by little. So when the time we get ready for our brunch, everything will be ready. So I'm just putting it in the water. And the reason I put it in water, uh, the potatoes, is because you don't want the, the potatoes to turn a brown color. Because they will turn dark on you uh, and look kind of crazy. Uh, and so I just got a little water. No seasoning in it. Just regular water. And I'm just going to cut the potatoes. Have to be watching. So like I said, you can control it how big. So this potato is kind of large, but that's okay because I only need one potato. And what I'm going to do is add some seasoning to it, uh, some olive oil. And I'm going to put them in the oven once we get ready uh, to have our brunch. So while the chicken is cooking, uh, the potatoes will be in the oven. I'll cook them on about 400 degrees. I uh, season them, put some olive oil on it so that they don't stick. I put it in the oven for about, until they're tender. Sometimes it takes about, say about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your stove. So everybody's stove cooks differently. Some stoves cook fast, some cook slow. So you just have to watch them till you, uh, I always stick a fork in them to get them to the seasoning. I mean the seasoning, to the, to the desired tenderness uh, that I want them to be. And so I have my water here. I'm going to pull this off and then I'll come back so that I can season them and get them ready for the pan. So just hold on a moment and let me go over and wash my potatoes. And while I'm stepping away, take time to share this out with your family and friends and loved ones. And tell them about soul cooking with tea. Tell them we all, we're doing some pop-ins today because we are all stuck in the house and we're just trying to uh, eat healthy 
uh, trying to maintain our health and stay safe. So take this time, share it out. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I took my whole potato and now I have some beautiful slices. So what I'm going to do, let me get a napkin. Because now I want to, so what I use, I use just regular olive oil. I get it from my 99 cent store. So it's here, it costs $2.99 from the 99 cent store where in the store it may it probably is at least four to five dollars so i saved a little bit by going to my 99 cent store and so uh in order to control uh how much i use and how much i put on you know whatever i'm cooking so what i've done i just got me a spray bottle um and i just spray it you can get them at your 99 cent store and that way i can control how much uh, olive oil I'm using because otherwise if not I, I'll use a lot more when you just start to, to pour it on hello Claudius thank you so much for joining so I decided at the last minute instead of using uh, I look like I said we, I grew up on Lowry's I love my Lowry's seasoning so but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have lemon peppered uh, potato flavored french fries and so I bought this at my local 99 cent store and so I'm just gonna put a little bit on just to season them not too much but just enough because I need a little I need that flavor I told you southerners we gotta have that flavor it's about that love okay so let me show you my potatoes hopefully you can see I just put it on there just seasoning uh, and remember I, I've talked about plenty of times uh, that I use uh, my grandmother's dishes, pans. Uh, let me wash this off first instead of just wiping it off. I was wiping it off, but that's not sanitary, so I had to go and wash my knife off. Um, and so, like I said, plenty of times I talk about using my grandmother's dishes. Well, this pan here... Um, <laughs> I've eaten more biscuits out of this. I've eaten more sliced ham out of this. Like I have, my grandmother used this pan for everything. And so you can tell it's worn, tattered. But listen, this pan still serves its purpose. And so I have, uh, and this is the pan I'm going to use for my potatoes. So I have a sweet onion here. And so what I'm going to do, still using my same vegetable knife. I washed it off. And so I'm going to, this is a very sweet onion. I love about Dahlia onion. Uh, it gives your food a different taste. And so I'm just going to cut off some of this bad part. And as you can see, I'm going to pull that on off. Got me some Vidalia onions. Just do it like that. So I love onions. Uh, and so I'll use quite a bit of this onion. So let me cut another little piece. Take the, that bad rind off. Okay. And the only thing I'm doing is just, I'm not going to even cut them up. I'm just going to leave them whole. And I'm just going to mix it with my hand because the seasoning is there. I'm going to take my pan, spread it with the olive oil. Because this, again, I'm being able to control how much olive oil I put in here. Because I really just going to put it in here just to keep it from sticking, as you can see. Didn't put much. Hello, Sister Tanya. Thank you so much for joining. And so... I have my potatoes and onion, so I'm showing it to you again. So the thing I did was put some lemon pepper on it, cut up uh, two slices off the Valdelia onion, took those slices apart, and put it in with my potatoes. So you can see, hopefully you can see it well. I had enough seasoning. I used, uh, let me wipe my hand. I used uh, lemon pepper seasoning, bought it at my local 99 cent store. And we're going to have some home fries with just lemon pepper, Vidalia onions. Yeah, my pan is a little small for my big potatoes, but guess what? It's going to cook well. And I have enough olive oil on it, as you can see. So, these are going to go in the oven. Once we get ready, I'm just preparing, prepping everything, getting it ready. 
uh, for our breakfast brunch uh, for today. Again, I'm Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. But before I leave, make sure, uh, because like I said, we are all home, we're quarantined. You have some of you have your children, some have your grandchildren, and you're like running out of ideas of what to do, what, you know, like what, what, what. And so, listen, we've taken care of that, so we're going to give you a free gift. So here it is. Go to um, bit.ly backslash rooster pickens that's r-o-o-s-t-e-r pickens p-i-c-k-e-n-s and get a free gift from us to you it's an amazing fun game to play with your family i'll be doing some more pop-ins i'll be sharing some more games with you all uh make sure you get that game it's free totally free you don't have to purchase anything you don't have to buy nothing you don't have to nothing it's totally free uh, and go get your game so that you can um, share it, share it. Listen, just because I'm giving it to you does not mean that you cannot share it with your family and friends. Listen, share the game with your family and friends. I'll make sure I put it in the uh, beginning of this post so that if you forget, like tell your friends, hey, come on over to Soul Cooking with Tea. Listen, they give away free gifts, games to play with your family. It is fun. It is amazing. Hello, Cynthia. Thank you again. Thank you again for joining me again on this uh, another pop-in of Soul Cooking with Tea. So, for a review, I just cut up a whole uh, potato and I took two slices off my Vidalia onion. I seasoned it with some lemon pepper because I, I was going to use some garlic salt, but I changed my mind and I wanted a lemon flavored taste. And I just sprayed some olive oil on the potatoes first. And then I cut up the Vidalia onion, broke the slices down, didn't tear them apart, just you know pushed them loose uh, and then added it to the bowl and I had enough seasoning. I just put a little olive oil uh, in my pan, just use the olive oil. And to be able to control how much olive oil I use, I put it in a spray bottle. It's just amazing what a spray bottle could do. And so I'm gonna cook these on about 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how fast or how slow your, your stove cooks. Uh, you know, check it about 10 minutes in. Uh, stick a fork in it because some stoves cook a little faster. Some stoves cook a little slower. So about 15, I say about 25 minutes. 25 at the most, they should be done. Uh, and when mines get done uh, to the tenderness that I like, then I'll turn my broiler up. I'm um, sorry, I hope it didn't uh, jump off on you all. Then I'll turn my stove to broil because I like it with a little crisp, a little crunch to it. Like I told you, I am a true southerner. And I like a little crunch. I like a little brown to it. And so I'll send it out of the broiler just to get that brownness and that little crunch uh, to it. Uh, Cynthia said, you are amazing. Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you so much for joining and welcome uh, to the Soul Cooking family. Um, so if you all have any questions while I'm on, if not, uh, if you have questions while I'm on, or if you think of something you want to ask when I get off, listen, inbox uh, soul cooking with tea. Uh, I will answer your questions or drop your questions right here in the feed. Uh, we are always, you know, looking forward to your questions, your feedback. We thank you for your support. We always thank you for your love of supporting soul cooking with tea. We just enjoy coming on, being able to share with you all. Again, make sure you get your free gift. Share it when you get the link, which is bit. dot ly rooster pickens. It's a free. Totally free game to share and do with your family, uh, your kids. Make sure you share it with your family and friends. Let them know, hey, Soul Cooking the Tea is over there giving out free games, something we can do with the kids. She said, what kind of potatoes are you using, Cynthia? Cynthia, I love russet potatoes. Um, you can also use golden potatoes. I love, sometimes I use the little uh, small round potatoes. Uh, which come in different colors. Sometimes they come in purple, they come in red, <clears throat> excuse me, or yellow. But if I have a choice, I like the rusted potatoes. Uh, usually that's what, you know, you can find in your local grocery stores. Uh, now my local 99 cent store has them too. So I try to get those uh, from them 10 pounds uh, before the economy and everything. The coronavirus, they were a dollar. But now I think they went up to a dollar 99 uh, but I love russets. I didn't even take the skin off. I just took the top uh, of the potato, just a little bit of the top potato and bottom of the top potato. So as you can see, I left the skin on uh, my potatoes. 
because you can get your vitamins and the nutrients uh, from the potatoes. Hello, Sister Gail. Thank you so much. Sister Gail says, great job, T. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I love rusted potatoes. Grew up on rusted potatoes. Uh, in the South, uh, that's what we all had was rusted potatoes. Or if somebody had a garden, uh, they would pull the potatoes from the garden and share with the neighbors. Again, you know, during this time, I keep reminding you, you and myself, make sure we check on our neighbors, check on the elderly, uh, check to see if they're in need of something. Maybe it's something that we have in our pantry, our refrigerator or freezer uh, that we can share. Or if that when we go to the store, uh, we can pick up something for them. So any other questions or comments here on Soul Cooking with Tea? Like I said, I'm just doing some pop-ins today because we're getting ready for our brunch, our breakfast brunch. Listen, you can have breakfast brunch any time of the day. It does not have to be a particular time uh, of the day. If you want brunch at midnight, if you want brunch at 10 o'clock at night, if you want uh, brunch at 6 a.m., th listen, that's your time. You decide. And so we're having our breakfast brunch sometime today. I'm just getting prepared so that when we do, uh, everything is ready. I just, the chicken is seasoned. I have it sitting ready. The potatoes are ready. Uh, and so it's just a matter of saying, okay, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm getting hungry. And guess what? We are about to go in and start fixing our breakfast brunch. So again, thank you all for jumping on with me on this quick pop in of soul cooking with tea. Again, make sure you share this out with your family and friends. And tell them about Soul Cooking with Tea. And also, don't forget about your free gift. I'm going to make sure I put the link in the bio. Thank you so much. Uh, is it Shakira? Shakira Suttis. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, again, thank you so much for your, you all jumping on here with me live. Thank you for those that will catch the replay and those that will share this video out with your family and friends. Again, I am Tawana Carlton, your host of Soul Cooking with Tea. And this has just been a quick pop in of me getting my potatoes ready for our breakfast brunch. I'll see y'all later. Bye.